One and a half? One and three quarters? Yeah. One and five eighths? Maybe. How one many? One and seven sixteenths? How many do you want? One, uh, I'll have one, please. Okay. Do you know where you are? <laughs> oh, shit. Now you have to go and ask hard questions. Yeah. Tonight we're um, on In a Perfect World, Miss Mary. <laughs> With me, your host, oh, Flash. And okay. My Is it a perfect world? No. Or are we just working on that yet? I don't know. Is it semi-perfect? It's, I think it's close. Well, it's probably closer to oval than round, so no, not even near perfect. Mm. So in it's, honor of that imperfection... Whatever it likes to be royaled. I will say, ah, ha, 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 we, are we live? Can we be heard out there? I think so. I don't know. Circles is doing a silent protest. Yeah, she. Well, yeah, because they flooded her beach, so she's all pissed but, off now. But she's period all over the place. Circles yeah. has got her period. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna wage war against the um, the invaders against that, the beach flooders. The invaders that took over her beach property. You son of a beach flutter! Hello, Grimner. Can he? I I guess they. Hello, Grimner. I think we're live. Hello, mom. I'm your. Sure. Henry Bomb. Oh. Maybe we just don't have anybody in Ireland that can actually hear us to tell us. So let's play like they're there. Oh, oh he's here. Yeah. Then do you want to? And wanna, there's 39 people here. Do you want to? Want to body? <laughs> Why don't you body and bot instead of bot and body? Why don't I body and bot? Okay, mm-hmm. well my body is. My body is in not a body. honor a of body body. your body. Let's ah, yeah. well, it's still attached. I know that. I'm still functioning. The quack practice says that I wasn't <laughs> out as bad as I thought I was, Yay. but I do. I am. I have inflammation, Ooh. and I'm not supposed to sit for long. So are you <clears> inflamed? Yeah, right. Uh oh. And I'm not supposed to overdo. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're going to do a three-hour show tonight, people. Guess what? Though yeah, right. I, I'm doing the show with a rule breaker. Come on. Give me a break. Oh, yeah. Barman! Yeah. Oh. Barman! Barman! The most splendiferous spot in the whole wide world. Closely followed by Beetle! Beetle! Beetle. Where's Pippi? Pippi Longstock. Does Pippi have long stockings? Do you let her chew on the, the random sock that the other one disappeared on? Or do you just throw away the random sock? Really? I don't throw away those random socks because as soon as I do, the mm. other one shows back up again. Uh, uh, so I don't throw them away. Mm-hmm. So I have a drawer. <laughs> Cowboy And then tech. my granddaughter comes to visit and she wears the un- the random socks because that's what the cool kids do. Cowboy tech. Yeah, speaking of cool kids, there's a cowboy tech. I hope he's hearing pleasant voices. I also see Grimner. are. God, don't you know? As Grim. well as the lovely Moose Goyle. Hey, Moose, Moose, Moose just caught a fish. Or did Cowboy catch a fish? Cowboy caught a fish. Cowboy caught a fish. He's had fish for supper. I also what? see the lovely Susan Kate get here. Okay, loaded. Oh. Moose finally did a load. Oh, I don't want to know. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> if I got the okay from the G-Man, then it's good enough for me. Oh, cool. Anything Thank after you. the that is a, it's on your equipment, not Grimm's. Oh. I've spoken. So, wheat, anti, and anti with the tail, you know, the prehensile kind, so Uh-oh. you can grab shit. He, see, he, he can do the, with the tail, he can do his impersonation of Joe Biden. Oh, very good. Yeah, uh, I also see Asmodeus Asmo is here, as well as Chalcedoni, the lovely Psycho. Hello, honey. Hi, Psycho. She can't Look, hear you. Look, here we got a Chloe in the chitty chat as well, and oh. Die Dom fan meter. How you doing, girlfriend? It's like that. Look, you there, Flash somebody. Double bubble. Yeah. It's Flash. Hello, it's me. Flash. Hello, me. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mom. I'm your ch- now, see, that's stuck in my head. Thanks, Lode. You're welcome. Uh, the work is here, as well as yours truly, with the Joan Jet song stuck in my in my head. Damn it. I also see Jay Dredd is here as well. <laughs> J- 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 JJ's none and nine. Wow. Hey, JJ's, keep yeah. the kilt. Yeah, keep that kilt down. Keep it tucked. Some Jays don't stick. 
stand for Jew. <laughs> oh, okay. But we got a maestro out here too. What a we got a prince in the chitty chat. It's a prince in print. And Peter Rob Weiss is here too. Hey, I did bubbler. Fire bubbler and I missed it. I missed it. I saw that somebody had absconded with a lawnmower. You know, the least they could have done was frickin' mowed your yard first. Yeah, the nerve of those crooks. Wow. Damn lawnmower thieves. Yeah. I also see Trust No One is here, as well as the lovely letter-turning bot of the RLM channel, Miss Vanna White, closely followed by Weather Dork, who is still trying to blow wind up her skirt, and she's got a long skirt on, so it ain't going to do no good. Looky there, we got a phantom. It's a phantom. Hi, phantom. How are you doing? I haven't chatted with you in forever, hon. Forever, Ow. or it seems like it. Hell, it's probably been over. It has. It's been over a year since that's, I've chatted with Phantom. That's just three ever. Then four ever <laughs> is more than that. Oh, okay. I see a CC sixty six is here, as well as a cyborgian noodle that you may be touched with upside the head. Just saying. You I'm be naughty. Saying. You get upside the head with the cyborgian noodle. I'm scared. You should be. It's not necessarily a pleasant experience. Hi, and wow. I okay. also see Scruffy's here. Oh, the Canadians <laughs> have uh, come out. JJ Stilmo is From, here. Yeah. St. Louis, here. Missouri. There you weirdo. No, it's Stilmo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Stilmo. Yeah. He's still early. Okay. He's still early. Mm. Yeah, it's Stilmo. Okay. Most, most ain't Mo all the way through. I also see Skip is here. Hey. Hey. Banana. I heard oh, Hannah I Banana. So do Hannah, I. Hannah, Hannah, oh, Banana, 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 oh, Banana. Oh, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Bad and clear. Okay. A uh, lurky eight. I know yeah. who lurky eight is. That's right. I do. I do. I also see Matt WJ two thousand and two as well mm. as Push a Pin Play. No. I know who that is as well. And do. Papa Papa Pod Sauce is here Perfect. as well Perfect. as Perfect. Hey, Mikey hey, and Mike. SLC. How's things out in God's country? Yeah, he, I've been he's through. Not. Of course, I was through the southern part of Utah, and that's right, it is God's country, because God's the only one that wants it. Holy shit, there ain't nothing for miles yep. out there. And it's hotter than a hooker's hoo-ha. But that's Whew. another story. After a Shriners convention. <laughs> Dr I also during a <laughs> Shriners convention. <laughs> After is the time when they cool down. During is ah. the time when even liquid doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why they call it a hoo ha. That's why people hey, sweat well, when they have sex, that. so they don't catch on yeah, fire. Well, a, sweat is uncomfortable. There. Moving along. Fire leaves marks. My holiest Roger <laughs> ever. It's I, the holiest it's Roger, Roger ever. And to round out the crew, one of the only Z picks. That's right. Z picks. Let's see. You know what? I called our show today. In a perfect What'd world, it? it has a title. And I entitled tonight's episode of In a Perfect World, Give Me a Shot of 151 and a Glass of Prune Juice. As a chaser? Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, prune juice chaser? Oh, yeah, you're going to need something to chase that. But not but necessarily. Don't. Prune juice could end badly for people. <laughs> but it's the society that we're in has driven me to the idea that well, if you can't fix it, let's just really fuck it up. And how could ah. we possibly add any more shit on top of all the the shit that's just on top of the other shit? And I came up with prune juice and 151 for everybody. That's the drink for 2020. Well, it okay. would explain a lot. Any, I mean, come on. <laughs> We're all I think the, someone needs to slip that to San Fran Nan and watch her do the podium two-step. I don't know. <laughs> she spends an awful lot of her time in an alcoholic stupor, if you ask me. Oh, dear Lord. And as a chronic marijuana smoker, I would assume I have the right to judge. <laughs> Never mind. You know, there are times when I just... Man... I don't know which one is less lucid, Biden or Pelosi. 
because oh, not only yeah. does she have the alcohol induced, nonsense, she's also yeah. got Botox brain. And oh. so, you know, between the two of them. <sighs> oh, did you see that video where she was lit like a tree talking about ice cream, like some kind of 12 year old hooker? It was pathetic. Uh, Ooh. No, but I, I watched the it. One where she was talking, I don't. She's talking about some Jeff guy, and then she started talking about mm. Trump being one of those kids that he steps in dog do, and then he walks through the house with it on. His, and I was like, mm. "Whoa!" And they say Biden is bad. Yeah. Well, it's no wonder they want Biden for president. Those two could carry on a conversation and actually know what the other one's saying. Well, you know, when, when I think back in, into my younger days when I, I had absolutely no interest in politics at all, I do remember being in public arenas, bars, whatnot, and hearing political names thrown around, but never know who the hell they were talking about. I remember when Bill Clinton, who the hell's Bill Clinton? Never heard of him. Of course, I never lived in Arkansas and stuff, but if I had, I'd have heard of him, right? And you know what's funny? Hmm. You look at Bill Clinton, hmm. and you realize the only reason he got it uh, is because they shamed Gary Hart out of the race. And what did Gary Hart do? Hmm. Somebody took a picture of him on a boat with a pretty girl on his lap. Hmm, well, oh, that's shameful. We can't have him as the president. Oh, yeah. So let's uh, pick Bill Clinton. Oh. <laughs> Talk about frying pan into the fire. Well, Whee! I don't, and yeah. not only that, but both him and Hillary are very suspicious kind of characters. And if you uh, see certain links from other people when they talk about them, like there's this yeah. secretary, the treasury, or some shit that was in uh, Clinton's uh, cabinet, whatever that is, uh -huh. right? He's a little uh -huh. short guy, right? And he's telling the story about how he met Bill. And two seconds into the story, I was thinking, boy, that sounds kind of gay to me. But who am I to judge? Yeah. But, you know, he's telling the story about how he was feeling ill on the boat. And Bill came in and helped him through it. And I thought, oh. wow, you're such a pussy. You get seasick. And not only do you... Are you a pussy and you get seasick, but you need a another fella to come and hold your hand through it. And I, woo, I'm just not that liberal, you know? Maybe that was code for something else. I don't give a fuck what it was code for. I'm only concerned with the story I interpreted. And it wasn't very, I don't know. It's not my thing. I wanted to, you know, not know that after I heard it. <laughs> it's like, fuck, what'd you tell me that shit for, you freako? Well, it's kind of like that picture. I think, I don't remember who shared it mm. on the RLM this morning, just mm. before I went to the quack factor. And uh, holy crap, some gal with like spikes for the mohawk part of her head, and whew, And you know, there's just some things you cannot unsee. Oh yeah. Just like there's some stories you cannot unhear. So yeah. yeah. So did you come up with a name for the drink that I won't? probably ever see in a bar um i i think it's a pelosi slam <laughs> the pelosi <laughs> slam well if you're if you're leaning towards red i suppose that would matter but i know you can call it the demon crap <laughs> hey. Hey. wow more ways than one too huh? <laughs> well people are bored you know and you never just never know oh, what yeah. kind of trend you might start. I mean, I've seen videos of people licking toilet seats and all kinds of just bizarre. Like, what the fuck is the point of that? At least if you try my drink, <laughs> you'll get a cleansing. <laughs> That's true. And that would probably actually be a good thing yeah, for could, some people. It, Although there would be some that it would be kind of a clear, uh, a clear gelatinous mess left on the floor because that would be all that was left of them after they. Oh. <laughs> okay, and maybe there's a wife or two out there that wants new furniture. Hey, I know you can get it. <laughs> yeah. Offer, offer your, offer your husband this to these after work. 
<laughs> Here. New honey, furniture will how arrive would you like in the morning. To try a demon crap, mm -hmm. but wait, there's more. <laughs> wow. I made chocolate cake. Well, Pay I no mean, attention to the empty X lax wrappers in the trash. Mary, it's a frightening world. We have people that are willing to put masks on to stay safe from something that does not exist in the first place. So, oh, there you go, jumping right into reality. I was having fun in the world. Okay, hold on. Let me back up. <laughs> but Yogi, yeah. Miss Mary isn't going to like this. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Never. Go ahead. I ain't going to. I go can't ahead. do it. <laughs> I full of fuck, Miss Mary. I'm hungry. <laughs> Do it. Nah, what were you going to say? I already said it while you were doing it. Oh, and I missed yeah. it because I was going on Listen on to on the on. replay. Yeah, you got one out of me. That's enough. You ain't going to like the replay. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Whatever. But that was Yogi. That wasn't necessarily me. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Speaking on behalf of myself and other bears, I say, hey, boo-boo. <laughs> you know why they called him boo-boo, right? Uh mm. I don't. I don't want to know. Oh, okay. I won't tell you. It had nothing to do with the bow tie and the hat, though. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he might have been a surprise child because you know, in cartoons they have prophylactics. They do. Mm -hmm. Huh. They have more active prophylactics than they do in reality. Yep. Well, you know, if you ever stop to think, if people really looked like the cartoon characters, man, they would be some messed up looking people out there. They are. Oh, wait, there they are. Do. <laughs> wow. Well, you just killed my trip to Walmart. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I have not been to Walmart since they mandated masks, and that's <laughs> saying something. Well, you could always play up to it and go in in uh, your Eeyore suit. <laughs> I could do that. I could do that. Or what? or I could make myself a mask like what Dr. Bergman made. Mm -hmm. He went and got some chain mail and mm -hmm. made himself a mask with chain mail. Wow. That would be cool. Would I it? maybe maybe if I had somebody save me some beer can tabs, I could <laughs> I could sew them together and make me a beer can tab mask. <laughs> See, you're getting creative. You watch. There are going to be videos in two weeks of all these things you talk about because all your listeners are going to steal them from you. <laughs> That's okay. You know, I was going to do because I had I had some trolley masks that I got for the kids when they were little and Halloween and yeah. and it was just the top part, you know, with the crazy hair. And I was going to get one of those and wear it to the store and say, "What? I'm wearing a mask." But Darn it, it got hot, and so part of the mask kind of melted together, and so I can't do that with my trolley mask. Ooh. I'm bummer dooted. Well, you know what? We do need, though. What? We need a, a Mary or a Mom update to make you feel a little better. A Mary or a Mom update? Well, Mary Take is feeling pick. better. Mary has been to the chiropractor, uh. and I, am, I actually did not put my ice pack away. I'm sitting here with my ice pack right now. Ooh. Because I have inflammation because I was a naughty girl and I was pulling weeds and the weeds pulled back okay. on my back. Don't forget about the rose hip because that's specifically what this <clears throat> particular powder does. It well, works see, on the inflamed. Yeah. I need to get some rose hip because I have turmeric. I don't oh, have rose you hip. don't have it. Oh, okay. It's too shit. I've got rose oil. Mm -hmm. No, no. It's a different, I, no, no, no. Different one. Yeah, I don't have rose hip. But, so I uh, need to get some of that. I have, can, let me interrupt your Mary update then you can, okay. with, a, with a local update. My electrician friend that I've been talking about, he works the bar, He's uh, uh -huh. he got hurt and uh, I uh -huh. handed over the uh, rose hip to his wife and she took a picture of it. I went and saw her today to drop her off some uh, vegetables from Circle and uh -huh. the report is... He's taken it daily, and they went off for a weekend, and he took this powder with him. Cool. So, yeah, he's. I told him, if you do it for a month, give it a month, you'll feel physically, you'll start feeling better because it stops all that inflammation and the creaking stuff. It fills in the gaps. But it takes cool. a few weeks to absorb it into your system. And he's, uh, let's see, this is the 11th, so he's 11 days into the program. 
Cool. Okay, well, I'm being taken seriously by peers here based on, you know, my experience with powders that are legally obtained across the uh, store down the street. Yeah. Cool beans. Yeah, cool well, get me some rose hip. but it's so much different than having to go to a doctor and get a prescription and then, you know, go to fill it up. This is just one shot. Boom. You're done. Yeah. And it's nature makes it. But the sad part of it, you can't stop. You're addicted to this stuff because it does this job for your body that your body can't do anymore. Uh-huh. Yeah, after a certain age, some some of us it would be different than others by a few years probably. But there comes a point in time where the uh, cartilage in your knuckles and your, your hips and uh, the critical places that you move, your toes, shit like that, kneecaps, all that stuff, uh-huh. it stops to develop. So you got to find us another way to get it. And there's no synthetic, uh, what do you call it, way to do this. It's got to be something natural or you're wasting your time. Hmm. That's cool. my diagnosis as a user of Rosehip. And I'm still here, you know. So you cool. figure, well, you're older than me, but hey, just a little. Barely. Barely. Mm. Guess who's Barely. guess who's got a birthday coming up this month, too? Grammy does. Yeah, he's going to he's going to join us in the 60s. Yay, it's about damn time. I know I've been waiting for it, but I've been waiting for about 10 months, because <laughs> I'm a little older than him. A couple of weeks. Ah. Yeah, like four weeks or something. It's not very much. No, no, ah. it's more than that. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you turn 60, or you will be 61 in September, correct, Yeah, Amanda? yeah. Oh, all right, so I'm, I'm 11, I'm almost 11 months older than him. Okay, that's right. I don't do I don't do math well when I smoke either. Forty eight weeks to be exact, according to Nerdarachi on the RLM. Because when it comes to the fucking nerd shit, Grim is good. He knows his nerd shit. Well, cool, cool. And just just a heads up, um, I will try to be back Saturday in time for. I don't care. Um, dark table. Yeah. But it kind of depends on who's coming to to relieve me at mom. Because tomorrow morning I am heading out to mm. my mom's and I will be down there until Saturday. So you you know what you take care of you first. I've done a, I've done solo shows. I just prefer not to. If I don't have to, I'd go with a partner. That's all. But I appreciate well, you giving us all of that a notice in case. Your plans work out. You won't be here. I understand that. I am a benevolent dictator beyond your wildest dreams. Mm. You have no idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, I'm, I'm reading up on, on Rose Hip here. Yeah. Oh, okay. And all of the wonderful the overview over on WebMD. And I may have to get some of this from my mother. Oh, I, see, this is what I mean about I don't think... Very clearly, sometimes I'm. I was just telling you about something. See, when it's something I can see, somebody I know, it's different. I I wouldn't have been so presumptuous to go. Hey, you should have your mom. But for you to come to me and go, hey, this probably worked good for my mom. I would just agree with that because it, it's done me good. So, hmm. well, rose hip. According to this, is used for osteoarthritis, which my mother has, <laughs> and she also has stomach problems. No, she Grim made me laugh. Not have an obesity issue. Okay, Grim made me laugh. Now you, I'm sorry, dear. Oh, okay. Bad time. Oh, but it says there's no good scientific evidence to support these uses. Of course not. Okay, that's exactly whatever. what they say about well, baking soda. This is off soda. of WebMD. Web so. That's exactly what they say about baking soda as well. <clears throat> oh yeah. So don't. And that's no. what they've been saying about zinc and uh-huh. uh, vitamin C and vitamin D3 to help you get over this flu. Because you know everybody says you need to take hydroxychloroquine because it's you know take like a 14 day pack of this along with zinc and erythromycin. Okay, whatever. I 
I don't remember what erythromycin is, but if it takes 14 days to get over this flu because you're taking an, a prescription medication, you know if you take zinc and vitamin C and uh, vitamin D3, if you do mega doses of that when you first start feeling yucky. Now, be careful with the vitamin C because if you do too much, it will be the shits, literally. But you do that <laughs> yeah. and you will get over the flu in three to five days as opposed to 14 days. But mm -hmm. And those are, oh, darn, natural vitamins that you can actually consume in food as well. And with vitamin C, your body does not store it, so you urinate it out quickly. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. But vitamin C, also, you need to have vitamin C to help build healthy bones. You need to have vitamin C to help build um, healthy muscle tissue. Vitamin C is needed in your body, so you need to make sure you get plenty of vitamin C. Plus, it helps you fight off viral infections. I think so. turmeric is loaded with vitamin C as well, too. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So the turmeric uh, rosehip combo, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. See, I've been yeah. doing turmeric, but yeah. I just haven't been doing rosehip. Do the do them both together, and you will go holy. You know, it takes. It took me about a month. I, what happened? Cirque told me to try it. I I had a, a hip starting to rub when I was walking, and then, uh -huh. oh, oh, and I heard a lot of horrid stories about hips being a problem. So, I told the wife, and she says, "Ah, oh, try this rosehip stuff." Really? No way. Yeah, sure. And after a couple of weeks, I started to notice the rubbing in my walk had gone, left. Uh-huh. Hasn't returned. Cool. There you go. But whenever you have something feel uncomfortable and you can find a remedy to, you know, make it go away, oh, I uh -huh. think you should try that. That's Especially what, if the remedy is natural. You don't have yeah, to go to the pharmacy to get it. No side effects to this. I mean, unless you probably ate a pound of it at one sitting or something. But that would be just, you know. Who shoots well, you up know, the whole is, bag? Ah. There is such a thing as using some uncommon sense. Yeah, well, you know, I, don't, I hate to put it like this and be so pompous, but I'm going to be. I don't think the people that catch us on the radio... Uh, think like that. I would assume that me and you would catch a, a crowd that thinks more like we do than you know people that need instructions on a bottle of shampoo. Well, how do I open it? Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, you know, there, there's like I I don't know how to explain this to you, Mary, but there's tags on fucking mattresses. Tags. Who and reads you know, a tag on a mattress? What do you care of what the fucking tag says? Ooh, uh, thank you, Grim, for that link. Oh, the good link. Sweet. Well, I don't know what he wrote. This vitamin it's a C It's a premium rose. vitamin C oh. with um, rose hip enhanced tea. with elderberry, citrus, and rose hips. Mm. Sweet. See, you put, your, you, you put your brain waves out there in the Real Liberty Media and you get responses. Some of them are good, and some of them are admirable, let's say. I didn't say laughable, damn it. I said admirable, like Admiralty Court. <laughs> You've been charged with killing time and fucking around. How do you plea? Aw, oh, man. Uh, killing time and fucking around? Um, mm, uh, mm. How long can I kill time and fuck around <laughs> before I please? You need to ask um, Bill, what's his name? Bill Gates. He knows all that fuck stuff. Yeah. What? A minute. Don't get me in your perverted love fiasco. <laughs> I ain't going to fuck him. No, thank you. But he does look like a gay basher, doesn't he? I like a little, like the president guy, that Trump idiot. He's all wishy-washy with his hands like some old queen. It's kind of embarrassing to watch him. I don't come from that liberal, you know, hey, everybody, look at me, and I got you know, pink shorts on. That, uh, nah. So, right. So, because I'm like, what do you call it? Neutral could give a flying fuck out of sight, out of mind. But no, they give me politicians. Openly gay politicians when... 
I don't care if the motherfucker sleeps with a turnip. Why does he got to tell me what he does? You know, it's like, can't you keep anything private that we don't need to know about and tell us the truth about everything else? <laughs> but it doesn't work mm. that way. They they force them to tell, them, tell us what they sleep with, but not what they voted on. <laughs> the voting is sacred. Who you fucked, that everybody needs to know. That way they can judge you properly. See? So is this like Olympic judging? Are there people standing on the sidelines that do flashcards? I wouldn't doubt it, Miss Mary. I, I try to stay out of politics. I am only assuming what I think I know. Ask you, know? you me? Fuck yeah, because that's what I do, baby. I can ask you me. With the best of them, huh? Yeah, fuck yeah. I got a PhD in S U me. <laughs> doesn't everybody? Well, come on, doesn't everybody? Really, when you think about it? Um, I don't know. All right, let me give you an example. And it's going to sound weird, but the way I originally heard this example kind of got my attention for some reason to this day. I remember it. I'm driving with a friend back in 97 or 8 in California. And she's driving the van, and all of a sudden she wants to make a big point of this. Ever wonder how these magic lines on the freeway keep us separated? What? How, huh? How the magic do do street lines, because people are taught to obey the rule of this is your side of the line and this is their side of the line. And then you got those crazy people that don't drive too well, and sometimes they go over the line and fuck things up for everybody. Mm. But but we assume, we trust, for the most part, when we're actually out there driving a car, we trust that nothing is going to go wrong. That's the assumption. That's why the accident is such a shock, because, wait a minute, I was doing my driving thing, everything was fine, and all of a sudden, that dumbass over there, <laughs> right? Uh-huh. All based on assuming, my dear. That's what I'm going to argue with you about now. Hmm. Pretend you give a shit, Miss Mary, pretend. <laughs> pretend I give a shit? About assuming. Um, yeah, do you assume? Ooh, I really have to pretend I give a shit? No, I'm just saying, in your normal Thank day, you. some people call it judgment. I call it some, sometimes it's a judgment. Sometimes you're just assuming from your experience what is going to happen. And sometimes you're wrong, and sometimes you're not wrong. But it's still assuming judgment. Assuming. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. works. If you went to your chiropractor with a negative at mental attitude, I guarantee you'd come back with a negative physical reaction to his uh, doctoring you. But I also think that if you go in with a positive mental attitude, it's kind of hard to overcome that if it's real. Yeah. And some well, people he just was, pretend. He was kind of surprised this morning because he said, oh. Well, you only had like four places that you were out, which I had I had two in my neck, one between my shoulders, and then down where I have the ice pack in my lower back, which is where I also have, you know, healing going on. So he was impressed that that's – and he also thought it was quite funny when I said, yeah, I was pulling a weed and it pulled back. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, so. Well, I've got faith in that. You're going to do what you can to interrupt this because you're so uh, jittery. You don't have patience. I'm married. Oh, you know what Cirque did the other day to compete What's with that? you? She does her damn gardening, and she was barefoot, I think, or sandals or something crazy. And uh -huh. she got stung between her toes. She thinks by a bee. Ow. Yeah. So. Did she put baking soda paste on it right away? I don't know what. She wouldn't listen to me. You know, she's one of those. She knows everything um, to do until it happens. Then she panics and doesn't listen. So I well, just leave baking me. soda she, poultice works really she's, well. She's just, still alive. Just take some baking soda, a little bit of water, and put it on there, and that'll pull all the two days pull ago. Out. Two days ago. I know, Mary. but it still helps with the swelling even two days later. 
Me and Cirque. <laughs> she, I'm just saying. Yeah, I know you just said, but me and Cirque, she's so independent. <laughs> it's, it's and too, you got to love her. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't got to. It just, just works yes, that way. Yes, you do, because if you don't, <laughs> she'll murder you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the last, the last thing in the world that's ever going to happen. But, well, I know what you mean, though. Uh, but, well, when it's her, I, I'm not real good at medical advice, nose to nose, and trauma. You know, oh, something bit me. Get the fuck away. I don't want to see that shit. I'm an old man. Go bother some young fucker that wants to help you. Leave me alone. Fuck alone. So I get Cirque, and she's like, get the fuck away from me. I can handle this. <laughs> so... I got me in a girl suit, you know, 20 years ago. And it's like, wow, entertainment value is just priceless. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because I know what she's going to say before she does, because that's what I would have done. And in fact, that's what I did. I was driving with an uncle from uh, one city to another. And we're driving down Interstate 80, headed for 5. And something flew in the freaking window and hit me right in the chest. It there was no sound to it. It was just me and my imagination hearing a pop. And it was a bee. Stung me when it died. Ow. And it was, or it died when it stung Well, you. right. But it stung me and then they die. But, it, you know, you got to pull it out and it's all yuck. And uh, it was like uh, being, I, the closest I've ever felt to that would be being burnt by hot metal. Yeah, it, uh, it yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, but it didn't it didn't blister, but it it hurt like hell. But she did that between her toes. <laughs> went, oh man, how did, of of all the horrible, you can't relieve it. It's you know just impossible. So she suffered for about a day and a half with that. You know, ice bags and cold water and whatnot. Yeah. Advice? Shut, shut up, Lou. Don't want to hear it, Lou. <laughs> A baking soda poultice will. And you know how I know yeah, that works? Because you did it. Because years and years and years and years and years, I mean, when my girls were little and I was living in town and we hadn't finished the, well, we called it the back porch on the house in town. When we finally incorporated all of that, it got closed in good. But at that time, we had the washer and dryer out there. And I was out there moving laundry and not knowing or not realizing that there was a wasp nest up in the corner. And I had, while I was shaking out towels from the dryer, mm -hmm. I had a wasp come down and stung me right on the side of the boob. And I tell wow. you what, yeah. mother yeah. puss that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, Whoa. I don't know if it's any and, different than what happened to me. I, I would assume it's the same. Well, I... I called my mother and she said, "Make you a, a baking soda paste mm -hmm. and put it on there." Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know what? Although the ex was teasing me, you should have let it swell up, and I smacked him. But <laughs> it was, you know, most of the swelling and the redness and the burn went yeah. away within just a couple hours. Okay, it was all yeah. pretty much yeah. gone. Yeah. So you know, but I tell you what, I know someone that is so freaking badass this woman is i mean bless her heart she has been through hell and back mm -hmm. she's about my age and she's she's had seven kids but last i knew she has lost five of them now three Damn. of them was you know they were very little like under a year of age wow. but um the most recent one that i know of she was 15 and was killed in a car wreck and I thought, oh, my God, woman, how do you keep any kind of sanity? Mm -hmm. And she wound up writing a book about it, mm -hmm. you know, about how tough it is and how the only way she got through. And badass woman, badass woman. And she drives a Harley with ape hangers. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, she's gone to Sturgis. I can't tell you how many times. But this woman coming back from Sturgis a couple of years ago mm -hmm. got hit by a couple of bees. And Ooh. I mean, she had the windshield and everything, but yeah. she got hit by a couple of bees and it went down in her shirt. And by the time she got pulled over, she did not wreck her motorcycle. But by the time she got pulled over, she'd been stung five times. Oh, in yeah. The that that area. would be pretty hot. Yeah. And well, I'm talking not comfortable hot, that inflamed. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, she is Ooh, badass. Yeah, she my hat's up to... Because I only got stung once, and I, that was enough for me. I went, okay, none yeah. of this. Okay, no more bees flying in the house. Even. Well, it was in the truck. Well, and bees don't really, you know, they don't mess with me, but wasps no, are yeah. nasty-ass bastards. The, the windows of the truck were just open in a way that the bee got caught in some kind of a, like an intake. And slammed yeah, into my and chest. Then it yeah, if I yeah. hadn't been sitting there, it would have hit the chair of the, the of the truck instead of me. But I was in it. <laughs> yeah, you were in the road. Toad. So, but of course, better me than the driver. Who knew what would have happened if he would have got the one? You know, got oh, hit by yeah. the. Oh yeah. Well, because your instant reaction is to jerk. Eighty and miles that's what an impresses hour. Impresses yeah. me with Dana is that she did not jerk. She well, slowly yeah. got her bike off to the side of the road and. It's like, holy crap. And, and I'm, you know, coming back from Sturgis, and I'm sure all the bikers are going, look, she's stripping down. Well, yeah, she's trying to get the freaking out of her shirt. So, well, I saw a, yeah. qu- a quarter of a million people went this month to Sturgis. Instead of a million, they were expecting a million but with all the lockdowns and all that shit. Some people just stayed out of it. But they still got 250,000. So, hmm. That just well, goes to show how outnumbered we are by these freaking state sissies that are about a government. The government knows better than me. Fuck, I do what it tells me. And I go, are well, you Well, you'd probably be surprised hmm. how many of them that would normally go can't afford to go because of the lockdown and the loss of income. And hell, I was talking with uh, my renter today, and he said that he's basically course he's plumbing he does plumbing and carpentry and all this other fun stuff he's had two big jobs since this covid shit hit and he's had an awful lot of like maintenance things you know, change out a faucet change out a, a toilet you know stuff like mm. that but yeah. he's only had two big jobs since this covid shit hit and he wow. said that's really wow. making life a little on the rough side yeah. for him so because nobody's got any money to do anything. Rich you know, they, they tend to what they have to tend to, like a leaky faucet or a leaky toilet. Or There's plenty of money out there, Miss Mary. It's just not real. Well, but it's, you know, it's considered money still. They can spend yeah. it if they want to. They just don't want to. This is a big game, and we're, we're just not playing in it. We're, we're watching it. We're not well, big enough to play in it. Let's just say that. Yeah, I yeah. agree with the not wanting to yeah. spend it because there's a lot of people that have really knuckled down and said, nope, no superfluous BS buying for this old broad. So, hmm. And I understand that. Wow. Superfluous. Wow. Can you speak any more English than that, little missy? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Superfluous. I don't know. <laughs> superfluous. That's, I'm telling that's you. That's nonsensical is... shit. Don't. In a perfect world, you're going to go all nonsensical on me. Yes, I am. Ouch. You know, it's just like just like people telling other people good morning. Now, this this is spellcasting 101 out there for all of y'all. When you say good morning, think about the word morning, M O R N I N G. Now, think of the other word that sounds exactly like that, morning, as mm. in sorrowful, mm. sad. Yeah. You yeah. have lost something. Yep. How do you tell someone to have a good, sorrowful day? You don't. And yet, that's part of that spell casting, you know? That people They've don't. They've gotten us trained. They don't Instead take of seriously. Instead of saying greetings or salutations or happy new day or something along those lines, they've got us all saying good morning or saying hell oh. Wait, hell. Moose is agreeing with you. Oh. Okay, hold on a minute. There's one. You have a disciple. One disciple, and that's it. Just just moose that's and me. Okay. I agree too. <clears throat> that's okay. But that's I'm aware of it. I don't like it. saying that word anymore because it's like I'm not going to tell somebody to try and have a good morning. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm aware of that. I've been aware of that for quite a while. That particular word, not all of the other ones that you knew, that you know because you learned them. But I knew this one. If there would have been a trivia question, I could have answered that one. <laughs> but not much else about yeah. it. Yeah. But I know that one. And I have no, made... Rob works, 
Rob Work says, have a good morning, God damn it. <sighs> that, wow. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Works. He, Mr. Works needs work on his delivery. <laughs> you know, people hey, don't Rob, realize you old that bastard. when they say, God damn it, they don't know which God they're saying that to, because we ain't sure who the God is of this world. Well, is I, it, I is it Jehovah or is it Santa? I mean, Satan. Well, Have you ever I, notice Santa and Satan both are in red? Yeah. At least in the U.S. Yeah. But if you don't believe in any of that stuff and take it to a level of reality, then it's just like reading a book or a movie. It's a story. It's cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is a story, and it's cute, except for you have to deal with all of the other people that believe it. And so they give it some energy. Well, that's, that's all part of that co-creation shit that I, we're all caught in. I found a way around that. Oh, yeah? Yep. Uh, What's that? I don't well. I don't know how to how to do it on purpose, but I, I ended up somewhere where the majority of people that speak English to me are uh, of atheist mindset. They choose no religion at all. Period. Zero. And I went, wow. But they're nice to each other, and you know they're honest in their business dealings and such. So, hmm. what a problem to have, you know. Oh, darn. Well, yeah, they're coming to, to me. Uh, I'm an atheist, so if you got any of that Jesus crap in your head, uh, don't bring it up around us. We ain't going to hear it. Luckily for me, I don't. So I agree with that atheist kind of thought process. You know, uh, There might be something that might not be. Who gives a fuck? Let's have a beer. That's a, There's an atheist, in my opinion. It's like there's no drama or fight to it. It's just, eh, who gives a shit? And yet, when you take the word atheist, here here I am going to do the wordplay shit again. You have atheist, but it depends on where you put the emphasis, because you can have atheist or atheist. Mm -hmm. True. And a theist mm -hmm. is someone that believes in a god. All right. So when, but an when atheist, you're... when right. you change the emphasis on it, hmm. what it's if... someone that doesn't believe in okay. it. What if English is not your first language? How does... Do those rules apply to one and all? Where you put the emphasis and all that kind of shit. How, well, if you're speaking a second language on top of it, it gets complicated to me somehow. Maybe I'm overdoing it. Make, See, make it simple, number one. <laughs> other languages are a little bit more... Um, yeah, Grim is just like the rapist is, or the therapist is just the rapist. And they are a mind fucker. That's why they're called a therapist. So, yeah, <laughs> it's right there in front of you. <laughs> then. Right and see, other languages yeah. are a lot more specific, I think, in, yeah. in some of this stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like I think Cirque was telling me years ago that Greece has like five different words for love. Depending on which kind of love. So, you know, if. In English, you need to add word to it to define it. Yeah, you had to. You have to add yeah. a, descri a descriptive to it. Every in every individual case where the Greeks cover it all in five five ways, you pick one of five or nothing. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. That's how specific, well, that's the difference between dog Latin that we use and yeah. other languages that were here, you know, before dog Latin and which hold all the fucking answers, probably. Like Larry oh, yeah. and Larry's and Rob on Thursday, they all both claim all these things that Larry and Rob believe and agree on. They're old knowledge, just brought up to date with the modern you know, tools and materials we have available now that weren't available back then. So life could be a lot easier if Larry gets a word in with people that control shit. <laughs> yeah. But it ain't never going to happen, but it's the guy's got to have a dream. Yeah. Well, and sometimes the game is so rigged that you have to figure out just exactly how rigged it is mm -hmm. so that you can take that rigging and tweak it to benefit you yeah it's, you know yeah. It's, it's like in vegas the house always wins yeah. well not always <laughs> no, not enough always, of the time but, but predominantly yeah and 
and I really think those that, that make a living at doing that have figured out the system and figured out how to tweak it just enough to where they can make a living at it. And it's it's just like with this system that we're living in now. You have to really, in order to be able to get ahead or to be able to do what you want to do and not have anybody mess with you, you have to know how the system works and how it's rigged so that you can counter whatever bullshit comes your direction. Well, I, I watched uh, a, an interview with the gentleman, the gentleman that did yeah. the uh, earth houses down in Tahos, which uh, if you've ever seen any of the videos on YouTube or stuff about um, these earth ships that he started building down in Taos, New Mexico. Oh, okay, Earth they're, ships. No. Yeah, they're freaking awesome. What? And and what's amazing is it's off-grid living. And part of that, you know, this was like 20 years ago that he started doing this. But, you know, now that the word is kind of getting out and people are playing with it and they're trying it in their own communities, and then you start seeing laws showing up on the books that you can't live off-grid, that you can't do this, that you can't do that. And the interview that I watched last night with him, he said it took him four times of going to the New Mexico legislature hmm. to get it to where it was okay for him to do this because they were trying to nail him with with zoning shit and all kind. First, they said it was okay. Hey, it's your 10 acres. You do what you want to. And it was out in the middle of nowhere. It wasn't in town. And then they started seeing more and more people showing up. And so then they had a problem. Cause it's mm -hmm. like, wait a minute. We ain't making any money off these people. They're all off grid. What the fuck? We can't have this shit. We can't people being, being independent, growing their own food inside their own house, taking care of their own sewage system by recycling it. Recycling tires and and aluminum cans and bottles and making something beautiful out of it. We can't have that shit. So they went after him, and they still try to mess with him from time to time. But he's being invited to all kinds of places around the world. And actually, uh, in that interview, he said Indonesia gave him one third of an island. <laughs> oh wow! After. Wow. After the tsunami, yeah. um, they invited him down to show people in Indonesia how to build these um, little earth ships out of tires and bottles and aluminum cans and dirt, you know, and how to do this and, and be able to be self-sufficient in these things. And after he showed them how to do that, then they gave him a third of an island and they said, we don't care what you do on your third. Just so long as when you're done, you show us how to do that on the other two-thirds of the island. Because apparently Bali is just getting absolutely destroyed <laughs> with pollution and stuff. So yeah. so they're want, they have lots of islands over there, so they're wanting to be able to kind of expand out with this. And he has gotten, I think he said, seven different countries now have done basically the same kind of arrangement with him. They basically give him... You know, like 10 acres to do whatever he wants so long as he shows them and their people how he's doing this so that they can replicate it. And he's he's been working in Puerto Rico the last couple of years helping them out with building this stuff. None of this Clinton Foundation bullshit, you know, and he had actual corporate sponsors that were wanting to sponsor him over in Puerto Rico so that they could, you know, they could make money off of it. And he said, oh, no, you guys don't understand. I don't mm -hmm. care who owns the land. Mm -hmm. I don't care who lives in the house. I'm just showing people how to do this mm -hmm. so that they can learn to do it for themselves mm -hmm. and they can replicate and they can become self-sufficient mm -hmm. and off-grid. And all of his corporate sponsors dried up. But the people in Puerto Rico said, We'll pay your way. <laughs> and the people that he put through, because he has, he has an academy down there that he does as well. And he does like 40 students so many times a year. And all he has to do is just contact them. They pay their own way to get to wherever they need to go. And they just get together and they just start building shit. But, yeah, some governments really, really like it. But so far in the U.S., they're... They're kicking and screaming on this shit. Hmm. 
And yeah, this is the bestest place in the world to live. Yeah, right. Mm. It's just it's a it was amazing, and you know, seeing seeing all the different things he had incorporated, and you know, with the his sewage system, how it goes down into a a gray water tank or a black water tank is what he called that one, and and some of it goes to being nutrients for like plants and stuff around outside the the earth ship and then as it goes through that purification system then it comes in as gray water to be nutrient water for the plants that they're growing inside and while they're while it's being used there he's also growing tilapia mm. inside the house mm. so you have your fish you have your your he's got banana trees and orange trees and all of this other fun stuff inside the house growing yeah. you grow your tomatoes year round Mm. It's freaking wow. awesome. Well, are you sitting down? Yes, I am, actually. Are you still smoking? No, I'm not. I'm okay. getting ready to take a drink. Should I put my cup down? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, cup's because down. It's, it's I'm only, ready. It's only the English-speaking world at this point right now okay, that are uh, fighting amongst themselves so deeply <laughs> about nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you were talking about this foreign country, and that's the sad thing about America is it's regulated itself right out of existence. And there's still people that have enough behind them to continue to play the the uh, the, the debt game. It's a debt game. I'll pay you yeah. eventually. Well, they're, they're paying you with borrowed money. <laughs> so I don't. I never it's did funny. understand. Okay. It's not even borrowed money. It's an IOU. Here, I'll give yeah, you an IOU. Yeah, an IOU. Use it like real. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Well, that's see. There's some part of the snap, crackle, and pop to the people. You know, is is we're all taught that game, and we we all know how to play that freaking game. But for some reason, most of us really deep down inside, if you asked us, we don't like the game the way it's played. But we accept it. Because it's uh, what are you? It's like uh, the lesser of two evils. Because at least that's legal. You're not stealing anything, but you are kind of being uh, deceived into playing a game that will never work. Well, and the really sad thing hmm. is that we've all been, you know, since birth indoctrinated into it. Oh yeah, into this shit, dogmatic yeah. bullshit yeah. by people who from birth were indoctrinated into it by people mm -hmm. who were at birth mm -hmm. were, I mean, this goes back Circles. forever. Yep. You betcha, baby. So it really is, it's, mm -hmm. I really think a lot of what's going on this year, and everybody says 2020 just sucks balls, which, okay, it hasn't <laughs> been a really fun amusement ride. Yes, it's it has. It's like a house of horrors. I don't and think so. Yet, well, it's, it's amusing, and yet there are times when it's just you just want to go bitch slap somebody, but you know you can't bitch slap them through a computer. And so, sorry, Mary. You know, oh, I know, but it's wow. I really think 2020 is going to live up to the 2020 hindsight thing. Because if nothing else, we make it through this year, everybody will go, well, at least it's not 2020. You get that wow. 2020 hindsight where you can look back and you can go. Man, did you see all the corruption that got exposed? Man, did you see all the bullshit that people fell for? Man, did you see? And possibly people will learn from this and they will start going, okay, now mm. we see. Mm. Now we're starting to see that the BSO meter is just totally tilted out. And we need to do something about this to where our BSO meter isn't constantly going tilt, tilt, yeah, tilt, but tilt. Our BSO meter is making is making a success of the COVID crap going on. We're we're using it to our advantage, man, Cirque. Like for oh, example, yeah. the uh, the job instead of a five day work week, now it's down to two. So, but then they have this oh, yeah. crap where you know they're trying to bring this COVID crap back back and throw it at the public, right? So what they did get away with was rush hour traffic on the you know uh, 
uh, the city transport, state transport, buses, trains, whatnot, that they're going to ask you to wear a mask. It's not mandatory. And you'll just be shamed into it by the other idiots that got shamed into it. By the people. So, so me and my wife, sneaky little people that we are, mm-hmm. well, we Cirque doesn't want to openly not comply and cause a shit. But, on the other hand, Cirque doesn't want to spend two hours on a fucking train in a mask. So, <laughs> so her sister lives... In Copenhagen. There you go. Spend the night at the sisters and come home the next night. There you go. So you only have and to. And you know what? Uh, what? Now are they are they stipulating what kind of mask she has to wear? Oh uh, no! It's it's all that it's all that voluntary bullshit. It's still the point still remains. You're going to get shamed into it at rush hour time by the people that got shamed into it already. You can't win. So the way well, she's just, gonna beat just it. Tell her to crochet one with a no, really loose crochet. No, no, no. She's just gonna avoid the freaking <laughs> rush hour trap. Don't correct me in how I run my family life, you <laughs> crazy woman. I'm not correcting you. I'm just saying, mm. hey, if you gotta wear a mask, I'll make one. I'll crochet. No, no, no. It's only a through. Mask. You don't listen then. It's only through the rush hour time of traffic. So therefore, I know. If she doesn't oh. come home the first night, and she just didn't she get to see her sister? Her sister's a freaking crack up. Oh my god! When she well. comes over here, it's uh, <laughs> anyway. They're close sisters, and they work in the same uh, company. So yeah. when Cirque's not working in the count in the city anymore, she doesn't get to see her sister so much. Yeah. Well, so we found one more way to overcome a problem and solve a problem that became a problem because of the problem. Oh, yeah. She didn't mind the traveling on the train until they wanted to mask her. Okay? Well, making the best out of a bad situation. I understand yeah, that. That's, that's what, we, at Flashco, that's what we do. We solve problems. You know why? See, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm picturing in my mm-hmm. mind... Yeah. A crocheted mask hmm. that right in the middle of it has the image of a bird flip. Don't give her any ideas. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Mary. Uh, encourage, encourage the creative one. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <sighs> well, you got to remember, she married me. You know, she's not... <laughs> she's not quite sociable sometimes. It depends on the situation. You know, being told what to do in a public situation is strange even here. May be okay with America or over there with all that, you know, status police crap that's gone on for the last 60 years. But that crap don't fly here. Know what I mean? Ah. Yeah, but I'm seeing mask wearers. I saw three in the last couple of days. I think last two days. That's a couple. And I saw three, yes, three masks on faces. People that are afraid to die of the COVID-19. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you imagine being that that desperate to live that you'll, you'll be afraid of something because you were threatened? <laughs> I saw the videos of the Chinese people dropping dead. <laughs> yeah, I saw them land on the fucking moon in 1969. Top that. <laughs> yeah, well, I've seen uh, new photos uh, of the wa- whatever Mars rover. On Mars. <laughs> and when I saw that, fo- I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> and so my comment was, who took the picture? <laughs> Because it looked like it was a distance picture, you know, like at least three, four yards away. It was wild, you know. And I don't think the Mars rover has that long of an arm. It might. I never got a response to my question either, by the way. Huh. But who took the picture of the Mars, ro- Mars rover on Mars? <laughs> It wasn't me. Hey, Robert, smile for the camera. <laughs> Good God. Well, and they're, NASA, it's, it's a it's a hole they pour money into and claim they do shit they don't do. It's 
stupid. It, people are just gullible. They don't believe anything. Show them a fa fancy picture you made on a computer. Hey, look at this new animal they found in, you know. <laughs> no, <laughs> stupid. That's something some guy made up on a computer. Never mind. See, and I think, ah. what was it I saw? There what? was a video where they were show comparing landscapes. Yeah. And I think it was in Greenland where, you know, if you just filter out the color, mm -hmm. the landscape matches all <laughs> the background landscape <laughs> that the Mars rover is on. <laughs> and the person that was doing this videotape, they were, you know, just farting around <laughs> in this desolate area. Yeah. And they come come across some tents, and they zoomed in on them. You know, some of those dome tents, like long-term stay kind of things. Yeah. And yeah. the dome tent on the side said NASA. And it was like, ah, is this for real? I wouldn't doubt it. This makes more sense than the Mars rover actually being on Mars. Hey, but... do, do you really spend a lot of your uh, conscious time thinking about outer space? Really? Not really. Because oh, okay. I know outer space is just anything outside of my body. Right, but do you spend hours of your conscious time reading books and studying maps and flowcharts and crap about outer space? No. Oh, okay. Just worried about you for a minute that's... there. No, oh, no. I no. actually spend, you know, if I'm worrying about outer space, I go out and I look at the butterflies. <laughs> and I check yeah. out my bunny and laugh yeah. at the cat and the uh. dogs and because those are all outside of my physical space. Well, you know, be that's my outer space. Before I found out I, I could grow flowers and shit in the house so well, <laughs> I turned out to be pretty good at this. I used to, when it was cold, I'd take pictures for sir of a flower <laughs> instead of getting her one. Take a picture of one. Ah, and I could always find, yeah, even in December in Kirkwall, I found a weed with a flower on it. So I took a picture of that. Instead of picking it, you know, or any of that shit, I just took a shot of it. Deek. But, eh, cool. this is, well, I'm not much for killing life. You know, I do it, like, once a month I'll break down. Like, I broke down and did the yard for it today. Because I don't really like the, uh, the neat and trim thing. kind of doesn't work for me. It seems weird. Where there's shapes in nature and... No, that's man. Nature is like kind of fucked up and hangs all over each other. and You don't know what starts where. <laughs> Plants get all twisted into each other. It's weird. You know, real nature. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cirque well, likes my that... My cantaloupe is growing into one of my pepper plants. And, I'm just, and Wayne said, we need to get that out of there. And I said, Why? why? not hurting anything. It likes uh, climbing the cage that's around the pepper plant. <laughs> pepper plant's not going to use it. So, yeah, that, that, I like that, that kind of stuff. Well, right. Well, the wife likes a trim yard, so we compromise. Yeah. I get to see my wild thing for a little bit, and then I just go out there and clean it up for her and start all over. Yeah. Well. Well, mm. Wayne had to do the mowing for me the other day, soon as how I pulled the muscles. <laughs> could yeah, but could you imagine trying to enforce a rule between me and Circle? Oh, uh, sure. no. It, who, I wouldn't even want to try. No, because whichever one of us is going to say no, they're not changing their mind. So, yeah, so we're like together, we're even worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, what's your superpower? No. <laughs> huh? Never mind. Yeah. Well, and that's an excellent superpower. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that don't exercise it because we all have it. It's just labeled a superpower because most don't realize they can use that. It's two little letters, really simple to say. Hey, Wordsmith, I got a question for you then. All right, okay. I'm going to write it up in the into the notes the way I ask it, I hope. What is the difference? Between K N O W and N O. Okay. What is the difference between the word no from knowledge no and no 
meaning negative no. Do you know? Well, no isn't necessarily a negative because... The word no is a negative. No, it's an enforcement of a boundary. Which is pretty much a negative. I'm going to bust your head. No, you're not is kind of a... You're enforcing a boundary. You're saying, no, you're not encroaching upon my body. Oh, uh, see? You are enforcing a boundary. So that's, that's not, not necessarily a negative. Yeah. But when you know well, something, yeah. see, knowing something yeah. is, is, is different because you can know something one day and then even five minutes later learn something else that makes what you quote unquote know be absolute gibberish. So they're both I, both of them can be positives just because you know it's it's a good thing to know that you didn't know <laughs> what you should know <laughs> and someone said no. <laughs> well, sometimes I I lie and say I don't know when I know. Is that not is that not being oh, deceitful to people too in a kind of a way but not really. Because I'm open in my doorway to your answer might be better than what I think I know already. But I'm not telling you that I know something first. So you tell me. <laughs> so it's kind of deceptive. Because yeah. we're, we're growing up. So well, we all, we... no, because when you say I don't know, hmm? it really is pretty much an honest answer. You may think something is so, but do you actually know that it is so? Oh, absolutely not. I'm I'm convinced that if I can't see it, if it's out of fucking sight, it doesn't even exist. I don't even give a shit. And the only times that things that I don't care about exist is when other people bring them to me. So you have to be receptive to negative or you don't get any. Yeah. And that's the way I feel about it. You know, that if I get negative, I'm I'm looking for it. You don't have to know it. It's just a reality, you know. That's the the power of life is positive and negative, and some forms of them attract to each other, and some of them repel. That's just the way it is. Well, and some negatives are initially negative, but in the long run, mm -hmm. they're a positive. Oh yeah, you know, like I admit. when you have you know like forest yeah. fires. Yeah, yeah, initially it's a negative. You displace a lot of animals or kill animals mm -hmm. in the process of a forest fire. Yeah. You displace people. Some people die. Mm -hmm. But the forest comes back. Yes. And a lot of times yeah. it comes back healthier yeah, than well, before. Facing, so, facing your fears is also, a, it's not something people can really define to each other. I think. I think it's kind of personal. We, we use things to explain it with that are kind of similar, but not really completely there, the whole point of it all. You know, like, um, let me see if I can find an example of a crazy thought I just had. Isn't it? I'm just saying that I, I think we deceive each other in ways that we're not really even aware of. We just do it. Because we don't really know shit, but we think we do because we've been taught we know it, and it's not true. It's not right, but it's what we know. And I will use Larry Woods as an example of him saying he had to unlearn almost everything that he went to school to learn to understand what he created that works because it defies all the rules that he was brought to believe in. So, hmm. I see that similarity in my own thinking towards certain parts of life, but not all of it. You know, there's some things in life I'm pleased with. Ah. What? What? Well, I mean, some you, things in life that you're pleased with. Sure, you can't com you can't be on one side of a fence all the time. You got to kind of go to the other side every now and again to see what's like. You know. Oh yeah. So, I interact with people, and I don't interact with people. But I just kind of go with whatever the flow is. If there's people I'm familiar with that's around, and they feel chatty, I'll chat. And if not, solitude time. da da da, da. Ooh. There you go. Making the best of a situation that isn't necessarily 
a positive, and yeah. yet it is a positive. It comes to that, that no and no kind of question. It's all so mm-hmm. deep rooted, but it's, it's it is and it isn't. <laughs> Can make it as black mm-hmm. and white as I like. I'm pretty sure. I I I send I I tend to think I do that. Make life as simple as possible instead of complicated and. Oh, it's all so overwhelming. What are we going to do? You just pick up a tool and start working. You'll figure there it you out. There you go. Yeah, you figure it out as you go. And I'm like you. I don't like the routines. I just want to do what I want to do until I'm tired of doing it. The difference between me and you in that respect is you don't have an off switch. <laughs> True. Wow. Where do you get energy like that from, Mary? Come on. I don't know. It's natural, maybe, though. Maybe right? I'm an energy va- vampire. Maybe I suck it out of the environment. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I do power down from time to time, but... Yeah. Yeah. But? But, you know, for the most part, I'm I'm tootling around 10 in the sun <laughs> or another. Tootling. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we just got a new word to play with. That wasn't even a typo. <laughs> tootling. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I'll put that in the notes. Mary was just a tootling. <laughs> I'm just a tootling around. <laughs> okay, all right, just a, there you go. Just a, I guess we spell that tootling, T-O-O-D-L-I-N. Mm-hmm. Tootling. With a, with a little sheet. Sh- yeah. yeah, but just a instead of just a. So this is going to look weird on the notes. <laughs> Anyway, I was having fun with Miss Mary on In a Perfect World. Did I mention that today is the 11th of August in 2020? Hmm? I don't know if you did or not. We have was lasted. I paying attention? We are miracles, Mary. Me and you, we're still alive. The worst Sweet. pandemic ever hit mankind 2020. I know. Hundreds of people yeah. died, Mary, and here we sit, unscathed. By okay, the not, corona not to bologna. belittle, not to belittle someone passing from this earthly realm. Yeah, and diet yet, is part of the game. We're gonna die. Yeah, everybody okay. does. Yes, and people die every day. Right, absolutely. And there are a lot worse preventable deaths in this world than, than this, this yeah. quote Corona unquote. Crap. Coronavirus, it's the beer flu, it's going to get you. Well, yeah, you drink too much beer, you might choke on your vomit and die, too. You know what? I was just watching a Mama Cass video because she had such a great voice, right? Uh And you just brought this to mind because I was thinking it earlier. They had a TV show for just her. Did you know that? Eh? No, Eh? I didn't. Yeah, 1969. So that means that they took a her, but they left the other three behind to pump her up. So what happens to her? She mysteriously chokes to death on a sandwich or some shit like that. You know? Hmm. Mm-hmm. And Jimi Hendrix, for example, yeah, his manager, they, they discover after Jimmy's dead, his manager was stealing from him. <laughs> So the guy just opens Electric Lady in Land like a month before, and then he decides, I think I'll kill myself. Uh, it only take some pills. It does, the whole fucking thing never makes any sense, what the people tell us, what we hear. And those are just two little things that irk me, you know? Out of many. <laughs> Out of many. I'm irked. <laughs> I could be Urkel. <laughs> Urkel. It's Urkel. Jerkel Urkel, baby. I'm from... Arkansas. Did I do that? Uh huh. Yeah. You bet well, you did. You, you know what? You're Next gonna fry I'll... for it too, woman. Well, then, by golly, if I'm gonna fry for it, I'm gonna do it again so I can enjoy it this time. We're gonna double dip you. That's right. Fry you up and serve you to the homeless food source. Oh. Yeah. Soylent you know, green is real. It's people. Yeah. In Trump's new book where god went wrong uh oh, my favorite chapter <laughs> never mind you don't you don't listen to my jokes do you 
Uh, I, oh shit! That's no, kind wait. of a. I stole some of that from Douglas Adams. So, for real, I'm just seeing this over on Twitter. Camilla Harris what? is Biden's running mate. Yeah. So the face job actually worked, huh? She Whoa. got a facelift or some such nonsense. Ouch. Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter because the Electoral College is going to do what it gets told to do by the bankers. If there's still a United States to bank in November, you got to remember, we're coming up on the uh, collection time, I think. <laughs> ah. Well, they shut all the small... Here, think about it. They shut all the small shit down so they can't operate. And then they pumped all the fucking business to all the big shit. So you're depending on all the big shit. You go, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I did a little asking around here, people. Where I live, and I said, hey, do we got any local vendors that supply us with food? And they said, why, yes, we do. I said, oh, thank you. Cool. Be yeah, because if they didn't, they'd go, no, we get our shit from Poland or wherever. No, we got local suppliers from dairy and other products, and uh, Denmark's a big exporter of bacon, pork. Ah. Yeah. Remember, I was compl know that. I was complaining about they had to build a fence at the border of Germany to keep the German hogs off the uh, Danish land because they're like what Woody was complaining about. Those boars are dangerous. Hogs oh, and oh, the, yeah, the boars, big okay. hogs. Well, whatever the, they're freaking. Oh, boars. Okay. Well, yeah. They're some kind of pig, and I'm telling you, they had to build a fence to keep them out of here. So they got a yeah, well, they got a three foot fence, and so they're not afraid of people coming here, but they're going to keep the boars out. <laughs> well, oh, you know them boars. They know you. You're a big exporter of pork over there, and they're going. Hey, it's some fresh meat over there. Either hey, that or, or the Danes think that foreigners are really stupid and don't know how to throw their shit over the fence and hop over it when it's three foot tall. I'm going to go with that the Danes aren't afraid of people. They just wanted the boars to stop fucking with their land. Hmm. Well, they didn't put a bounty on them and say kill them. It's their side of the freaking... Uh, fence so instead of killing off the d german animals they put a fence up to keep them out when well, that's way better otherwise you could just turn it into a business yeah. sell the meat sell the bones so you can make some whistles and <laughs> furniture and shit smoking pipes what's your smoking ah. pipe made out of oh i got me a boar head <laughs> what boar asshole <laughs> Ah, Here, this is my boar asshole pipe. <laughs> Never mind. I guess that flew over. You're being a non-smoker. You probably did not appreciate that joke, did you? <laughs> hmm. I, I'm, did, mm. Am I boring you, Miss Mary? Is that no, what, you're not. Is that what's no, going on? You're not. On? Okay. I'm just. I, my brain is still stuck on boar asshole. <laughs> I know some boring assholes. <laughs> oh, am I one of? Oh no! <laughs> Slap right in the face. Ooh. And, you know, I don't want to be anywhere around a boring asshole when they're smoking. It's like, dude, seriously, you're on fire. What? No, I've never been that stoned. I've been that drunk, though. To the point where I was still functioning, but the next day, I don't remember any of the, what they showed me on that film. I don't remember that happening. But they showed me the film, so that was me, all right. I went, wow. Hmm. Right, but that doesn't that was, happen when I just, just marijuana. That does not take ah. place. Yeah, I, I function fine, but add a few half a dozen drinks or so, and a few beers, and the next thing you know, I'm riding in a car. So what, oh. it, it's the same thing as I, I'm always saying. It. When I get drunk, I'm liable to do just crazy shit, so keep the guns away from me and all that, because... I do something. I I won't remember doing it, but <laughs> the people that were there will. 
Oh yeah. Now yeah, we got. I still get reminded about some of my escapades while yeah. I was still drinking, and it's like, yeah, well, I know. We got I phones know. now, Mary. Well, oh, it's a dangerous world. You can't. There's no privacy out there at all. Zero. Privacy. Oh, and I thank the good Lord every single day that wow. there were no cell phones around when, when I, I was, was young. A lot younger. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Ooh. Man, if this shit would have been available when I was in my, from 15 on, my whole life would have been different. Hmm. Well, yeah. we only had messages, phone calls, that was it. And if people could say, yeah, well, he gave him the message, but didn't, you don't know. And if you, if you didn't have an answering machine. Yeah. Then you missed, <laughs> oh yeah, you missed everything, yeah. sure. And there was no caller ID. You just picked Hello? up the phone. <laughs> Who the hell am I talking with? <laughs> yeah. Uh, collect call from God. Will you please? Will you accept the charges? I don't know. That's pretty long distance. I don't How know. do you know? I don't think so. I think I think it's, it's way quicker than you think. That's all. You just carry it around in your head, and you think it's somewhere else. It's not. It can't be. None of this stuff that happens in life happens away from me. It happens from me, you know? I'm the one feeling it, so, hmm. Nah, it's just an illusion. Try to enjoy it. Well, it's a illusion, huh? Uh, it's what I've, con well, I've concluded this because of and my own... Lou. Yeah, but my own standard of living, so to speak. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's just <laughs> it's just strange how life forces around me, or whatever the fuck you call it, laws, all these things are so relaxed where I live that n nobody gives a flying fuck. As long as I just do what I always do, I'm still everybody that, hey, how are you, me, and all that kind of stuff. We're all friendly and whatnot. So it's good. There you go. Friendly is good. I think. Friendly is good. Yeah, I think so. To to a degree. Well, yes, because some people can be overly friendly, and that's when you have to get the water bottle out. Do you see that? I shared that in the RLM the other day. Where from Babylon B, Biden staff members had to break out the water bottle again. <laughs> no, Joe. Bad Joe. Actually, water to get him to keep the hands off the kids. Well, actually, I'm just kind of bored of the whole uh, political Biden Trump thing. I don't really care who who takes the seat. Doesn't mean anything to me. They're going to still destroy what's left. So instead of a, a solution to these problems that people don't have, well, they're just digging the hole that they're in a little deeper, complying to the crap the government wants them to do. Instead of you know, thinking, why would the government want to do these things for me? And if the results are all against me, how, where the f who benefits from any of this? They're telling you, oh, you're going to live longer if you do everything that they're telling you to do, which makes you sick. If you do all those things. And if you don't do all those things, well, you're a threat to the people that w <laughs> <laughs> You know, we got a saying for people like that. Kiss my ass. And it goes on, but I'll quit at the ass. And I have a donkey right over here. That's you can kiss right. You ain't, them lips ain't getting anywhere near uh, to my cheeks. Yeah. Anywhere near. Oh. God knows. I don't want to catch nothing. So how are I don't you know where your lips have been. All right. How are you going to deal with POTUS Biden when it happens? If that should happen. <laughs> oh dear and, lord and if not well there's two sides of the coin and if not emperor trump mm. or i'm just going to stay out here on my little neck of the woods and do my own thing and yeah. not mess with anybody and try and stay under the radar that's what i'm going to do that's exactly what the bundies said once yeah i'm sure yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 mm -hmm. I don't I don't trust yeah. governments. You know why? You know, it's not necessarily governments that yeah, I don't trust. Yeah. It's those, I'm asking it's you, those you, people oh. that are working in the name of mm. I'm from the government. Really? What's the government? Please explain to me. 
Because as far as I know, it's a fictitious entity. You want to have You Scoop just on? have this little label that says you're from the government. Really? Show me the government. I want to see. Well, you want to have some fun? Define, define the word government, Miss Mary. Government, govern means control, meant is mind from the ancient Greek. So control the mind. And mind control, because, you know, a lot of, a lot of those, those foreign languages, they always have the actual action word after. Hmm. Or so, yeah. No, what? wait a minute. Yeah, what? they're backwards from, from English, which is why it's oh, hard for okay. English peeping, speaking people to uh, kind of understand the context and, and how to say things. You know, like... I took French in high school, and yeah. everything was bass yeah. from. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the oh. uh, the consensus in the local tavern where I was at Monday is pretty much English is you know everybody uses it somewhere TV blah 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 so they hear it. What what uh -huh. they're they're not used to doing is using it verbally because where where we're at in Denmark it's there's not a lot of Americans come around here, so English oh, I'm sure. is but. A couple. I hear them in town every couple of, I don't know, years or so, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, but, uh, but yeah, because of the internet, too. The school, schooling here, they learn other languages so they can, you know, pretty much dominate. Yeah. yeah. The more languages you know, the better off you're going to be. Well, and the easy way to understand why they do that is, you know, if you look at the United States and look at each state as having its own distinctive language. And so if I were to go to Colorado, <laughs> excuse me, I would need to learn Coloradan, <laughs> which is like wow. stoner dude kind of stuff yeah. mixed in with a little California bullshit. Oh, yeah. um, if I were to go to Nebraska, I would have to learn corn fed Nebraskan. Mm -hmm. You know, Oklahoma, well, that's where the dumb dirt is. So, what? I know, I'm picking on all these other states. And Missouri, they're always show me. So, everybody's going around showing their mm. shit. And yeah. I don't want to know. Wow. But, you, know, it really, it, you know, when you look at it like that, because I've tried to explain to people mm. why over in, um, in Europe, it's pretty much a requirement, I think, that, that children learn at least you know they learn their native tongue and they learn english and then they are expected to learn another language on top of that it would depend before they on graduate the, high it school still depend on the country and yeah there's so yeah. many countries wow but see they're all they're you know they are different countries with different languages not mm. just a different dialect mm. a totally different language and so you know look at people and go hey what if you you go to Colorado all the time? You go to Nebraska. You go to Missouri. You go to you go clean across the country to the Carolinas. Hmm. You go down to Louisiana where they do talk a different language. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. excuse me, but it's you know it's it's along those lines. So yeah, it totally makes sense that they would. And English has been the predominant language for a while now. Yeah. And sometimes I think the reason that it is a predominant language is because it is the language of spell casting. So, no, you know what? It's fourth in more people speak Spanish than English. Oh, so I'm sure. It's it's just how do you put, I know what you're saying to a point, but I've most of the countries that I've been to that are predominantly English speaking are white people. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, but most Europeans are white. <laughs> so yeah. Scandinavians are really, really white, like Germans and Polacks. You know, there's no, there, there's not a lot of sun up this way for quite a bit of the year. Oh, yeah. I but, get that. So that, right, so the native people born to, to thrive in this environment are really, they're really white. You can use them like glow in the light, glow lights at night. It's amazing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So do you shake circle circle up to be a glow stick for you? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just when it's dark. In the wintertime, it's usually really dark. But in the summertime, 
in a June. Shit, we got 20 hours of daylight. Something like that. 19 and a half or something, 20, close to it. So, in other words, when, you know, in the wintertime when you're looking at her and saying, oh, sir. Are you there? It, I can't it, see you're you. You're just absolutely glowing. <laughs> it's not necessarily a compliment. Oh, there's no insult to it. It's just the way it turned out. I know. Out. I'm just picking on you. She's just a white girl. and uh, I know. Well, you know what? Mm-hmm. I I actually do have some color on my legs, other than my tattoos. Yeah, but uh, see, I'm no, I'm Caucasian. So I don't glow in the dark, Mary. But I'm Caucasian skinned and all that. But I'm yeah, not. You got Mexican in you. Yeah, I'm not. I don't look like somebody that was born in like Texas. <laughs> I would be confused for a Texan or uh, maybe a Jew out of New York, but I don't know. That would be a matter of opinion. Mostly the Jews know it. I get a lot of nose, big nose people always smile at me because I got the honker, man. They're just guessing on the circumcision. I don't wear my, I got a, a circumcision t-shirt out very often. Mm. Hmm? Hey, mm. do you know if you're in a lockdown right now or not? I don't think, I don't think we are. Okay, wow, Why? I don't think... Be- I don't know, I don't pay attention. <laughs> well, okay, what are the results? If, if Wow, see, if you're like me, you crazy woman. I worry <laughs> about, see, and here I am, like, just like you and I'm thinking that I'm worried about you. Because I know what I'd do, and it's, fuck them. <laughs> and being on this side of fuck them usually ends badly, so... Ah... It's a it's a lose lose for everybody. Instead of people getting along, we're going to do this to each other. Sad. Yeah. So I'm going to take the uh, loose rope over the barbed wire in this in this particular event. And then traveling has just made, been made impossible. They want, some places they want you to quarantine after you get there for two freaking weeks. I know. It's like, why in the hell do you bother going somewhere if you've got to be in quarantine for two, two weeks? Two weeks? I mean, what kind of life is that? Jeez. Talk about talk about slave trading. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, what? when my kids moved to UK for mm. my oldest daughter for work, mm. if they wanted to take their pets, they were going to have to um, be in quarantine. So basically what they're doing is they're treating you like pets. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, You're an animal. Yeah. You must be quiet. Yeah. When my when my folks first went back to England from the States, they just got a little dog a couple of years before they moved. And they wanted to take the dog. I mean, they did a six-month uh, isolation or whatever you call it, where they keep them in the isolate. You know, they watch them for six months before you can really? get you. Yeah. Back in the, 80, in the early 80s, yeah. Because they were still afraid of rabies in that period of time in the UK. They hadn't had rabies wow. in years and years and years, and they weren't going to risk no fucking thing that's going to possibly... And a dog from America could be the one. So, there you go. See how superior the United States truly is? <laughs> Hengler looks down his fucking snooty nose at you and goes, Ah, six months and your fucking dog, bitch. Pay up, pay up, pay, 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 pay. And yet, mm. when my daughter moved back to the States, yeah. their their bicycles that they shipped back and all that fun stuff, they got inspected to make sure that they weren't bringing any dirt from the U.K. into the United States. Dirt. Yeah. Like the bicycle tires, they had to make sure the tread was clean or it would hold up their stuff being cleared huh. to to come through to the United <sighs> States. You couldn't have any gravel or dirt or any of that shit on your bicycles or anything. It's like, See, are you kidding me? No, lawyers need to have a reason to exist. So they write these codes and statutes and limitations and regulations. All these non-legal things go through legal process. And then people treat it like it's freaking law and they, oh man, they ruin it for the rest of us that know better. Because if you knew what I know about what I've seen with my own four eyes my whole fucking life, you too would go, hey, what the fuck kind of game are these idiots playing? 
not where do I sign up and how much do I owe you, but hey, fuck, you're not even real. What the hell do I want to bother with you for? <laughs> I've been a judgmental prick. Because <laughs> we're playing, do you, do you know if? Do I know if? I asked you, do you know if you're in a lockdown? And you said you don't even care if you're in a lockdown. And I don't know. I know that they're requiring masks at stores, but not here, not where I live. There you go. But where my mom lives, oh. you have to wear a mask and all this. And it's like, really? I'm just going to send my brother to the store. I'm not doing it. Oh. Fuck him. See? Of course, mom is not supposed to be left alone anyway. So there you go. I'll say, hey, can't leave mom alone. She doesn't feel like going anywhere. So go get this. <laughs> yeah. That's how I'm going to play yeah. it. You'll just... Just call it, Do You Know If? There you go. Ah. It's my new game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create this and give it to the world as a gift. So, Why, thank you. A hundred years Did you from know now, that gift uh, has if in the middle of it? Yes. <laughs> Coincidence, what can I tell you? But yeah, I-F. G-I-F-T. Hey, hey, boo-boo. <laughs> Oh, shit. Someone over here on Twitter said, Camilla passes the sniff test. <laughs> you, know, you don't really buy any of this performance crap. It's like really bad uh, theater art. These are like, oh, I, these are like the, shitty, the shittiest actors that, that exist go into politics because they're really not good enough to be actors. Like, uh, what's his name? Well, uh, Reagan. He was a fucking horrible actor. Good God. And yet he played second banana to a monkey. Yeah, okay, he, a how bad he was. Z. Yeah, bo- bedtime for and Bonzo. And yet he was president. Right, no because figure. he was a lousy actor. He could not control... You know, he was in... Ah. So they made a politician out of him instead. And think about it. I mean, if his qualifications to be in politics were his movies, well, he, he sucked as an actor. <laughs> Guess what he did as a politician? <laughs> Oh man, he he got us all <laughs> break. Oh, Life oh, is... Re- Reagan Reagan came in after what's his name Jimmy Jimmy Carter, right? But when uh, yeah, what I grew yeah, up, we had to, to have the peanut farmer to soften what, us up. But for... what, I survived the Nixon administration because I was like when he went out in disgrace, I was fourteen. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> uh-huh. right. Well, that was the year. Wow, man. That was a big year for me in in my life. Teenager stuff, you know, fucking living in crap. But I was aware enough because my uh, older cousins, basically, would treat me like I was one of them. And I could listen to their stories and their interpretation of shit. So when I was eight years old, I'm running around in a fucking woody with my older cousins listening to the doors. (laughs) <laughs> ah. Yeah, Te- my cousin Johnny's teaching me how to play chess. Eight years old. It's like wow. Oh, cool. Right. Well, I had these advantages in life that the older kids were interested in me, and I would produce so make their effort worth doing. And they taught me to do a lot of good shit, uh, just things that in life that really made the experience better, like the art. That was. A, Hell of a part, uh, part of my existence, I guess. <laughs> Doing artwork. I liked it. Cool. Well, I mean, you didn't you have other people bring the you inside you out that you didn't know was there, but they knew? Yeah. By what you were doing. And, well, that's other people encouraged me to, to follow up stuff I didn't think all that much of. But they did. Went, hey, you got a talent for that. I do. Okay, I was just fucking around. Let's see. And as it turned out, they were they were right. Well, there you go. Yeah, my bro- Actually, my brother Danny. Of course, he and I were kind of sort of the black sheep until Joey came along, and then Joey got to be a black sheep right along with us. But in any case, <clears throat> he taught me how to play chess. Mm. Um, mm. I was probably nine or ten when he yeah. taught, taught me how to See. play chess. It's best and time then, to learn. Yeah. Um, he taught me how to do ju- uh, judo in an effective way because we learned judo in 
mm-hmm. in uh, eighth grade in PE, mm-hmm. you know, just the basics to kind of protect ourselves. Mm-hmm. And I was so excited. I thought, wow, I can do judo. I can protect myself because stranger danger and all this other fun shit. And I come home and my brother said, well, go ahead and show me some of the moves. And I tried to show him some of the moves. And, you know, in in class, I was able to throw people and, you know, get them away from me and stuff. And he was like trying to throw a brick wall. And so he showed me how to really do this, oh, to really yeah. protect yourself. Yeah. You know, and then he sh- he showed me how to shoot pool, and you know he taught me a lot of things. Some some were not necessarily things that I probably should have been learning at the time. But <laughs> Whoa, she's a bean. <laughs> you know, like oh, this is marijuana. This is where you get it. This is. Uh, okay, yeah, stuff like that. and but see, I'm not one of those people that I don't think there should be an age limit on uh, stuff like that in the first place. It's what what encourages and what entices is the restriction. Yes. And if yes. things were just left alone, because I remember a time in life when uh, it was my own choice. I don't want. I don't like smokes. I mean, I didn't like smoking. My grandmother smoked, and I didn't like it. But it was like, you shut up, kids, you know, go away, oh, shut uh-huh. up, oh. So because of that, it made me want to try it, I think. So as I got older, I became a smoker. But when I started out, I was against it, and they made me adjust to them, because they weren't going to adjust to me. Ah. Huh. What? No, I'm just. And I'm now, just, now you have uh, all these laws and you know regulations and all this crap, and all they really truly are is infringements on your freaking rights, based on yeah, eh, bullshit. Instead of uh, being a customer in a business, now you have to be accepted by the other customers to be in the customer's business. Wait a minute, business is customer. You know what I mean, right? Uh-huh. I came from, we reserve the right to refuse you service to, you serve me, bitch, or I'll have your ass in fucking court. I know. Isn't that just kind of bass backwards? No, it isn't kind of anything. It's it's the oh, reason, it's the foundation, probably, the hypocrisy of all this is probably why things are where they are now and why the majority of people are so blind to the truth. It's like, can't you see? You think this has a future because you, you re-elect Trump or you replace him with Biden? This fucking boat sank a long time ago. You're still you're still just floating, but hmm. Well, yeah. <coughs> and you know what I say about floaters, but True. Uh, and I don't mean to be harsh. Dog paddle. I'm I'm saying this to people who are in overpopulated, not necessarily folk I know. I'm speaking from you know past memory, where things were way overcrowded. I knew it when I was there, but the the cracking point that we're at today in 2020 hadn't even been. Uh, it was still work. They were working it out in the 80s when I was growing up. You know, my 20s when I was traveling from coast to coast and spending time, you know, periods of time in big cities. See how shit really works. <laughs> Not just, you know, the stories that you're going to hear, but go to Greenwich Village. And see what it's like down there. Go, wow. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Times know, Square. I'll, and, let, I'll let you just, you know, so other people can experience that. I really have no desire. I already did. That's what I'm, But I did it in a, in okay. a time in history when it was every every piece is unique to the other pieces. And everybody, oh, yeah. and everybody from those time periods will tell you how that was the best fucking time because happened to them. <laughs> so to me, the eighties were the best freaking. Well, the seventies, the eighties, part of the nineties, and then after that, it got a little cruel. The world became very, uh, very corrupt, anti, anti good and pro evil. I would. Say. If I was a traditionalist, that's how I'd explain it to uh, somebody that lives in the duality, you know, the balance and all that good and bad shit. 
And I think people got two choices, and that's that. You make the right choice, you don't. Sometimes you do. Well, you know, I think right now we're living with the results of how many times we took another step back and drew another line in the sand. You know, instead of sticking to your guns or enforcing your boundaries by using that N-O word, you know, people went, uh, well, you know, it's for the greater good. Uh, well, you know, uh, well, you know, you know, and people just kept stepping back and stepping back and stepping back. And now we're getting the results of our acquiescence. It's mm. like, oh, you don't like what's going on? Hmm. Who tried to tell you how many years ago that this is just the beginning? Give them an inch. They ain't taking a mile. They're taking a whole freaking country. Ain't no give an inch, take a mile shit. Oh, and by the way, they're going to take your mind, too, and your kids while you're at it. So, mm. And your health, mm. and your, and your, and mm. your, because you didn't say, no, I have boundaries. You will not cross. Wow. You shall not pass, huh. as Gandalf would say. <sighs> so, and I have to admit, I, I let some things slide. Hell, I was... Married and divorced, so I, you know I'd let shit slide, <laughs> just like he did too. But yeah, so you get to a point where it's like, okay, no more, done. You shall no more shall pass. Won't okay. take it. Yes, dear. Now I just tell people when they want to give me shit. Sorry, hmm. EPA requires permits to handle that much shit, and wow. I don't want to fill out the paperwork. So you just keep it. Are you really getting that? Are you getting that kind of negative, or are you just being dramatic? Actually, I have said that to a few people. So you're not just being dramatic. Hmm. Well, I've given them Ouch. a little bit of a flare, so they they remember that I told them, "No, I ain't hmm. taking you shit." Oh, okay. Well, I see. I've got this kind of alternate reality then, because I don't live in a, a the kind of world where People give me any shit. The, the worst thing that's happened to me since I left America is people just would rather me leave them alone because I'm from some other place. And, yeah. Okay, but I've been here for a long time, and these guys know it. And I've, I've lasted the like, whatever their time limit is. To be here without learning the, the ways and the language and all that and still be, okay, well, the fucker's here. So I made it that far. So I can go in town to places and... They know you now. Yeah, but they've let me know it's okay. You know, they've gone out of their way to make me feel better about being here. See, isn't that just awesome? You oh yeah, because yeah, well, that's took a long. It was a long road in the in the works, but yeah, it's and it felt kind of good because the world's on fire right now, and everybody's on a different side of a coin, and right now the side of the coin the group I identify with, I suppose, is not for the hoax. Leave me alone, hoax. Go away, and we're just waiting for the people that fall into that, you know. Whatever the state tells me I'm going to do, kind of thing. Because that, um, there's a. Maybe compliance isn't the right way to. Yeah, compliance, it breeds a, a peace uh, amongst their own. To just do things to get along that don't really do too much damage, I think. I mean, that's my interpretation from being here so far. When there's lots of people, the rules change. When there's not lots of people, there's a lot of freedom. Yeah. Yeah. There you have it. Well, freedom is merely the ability to do things where you're not causing, um, you know, adverse reactions from the outside world. Yeah. You know. And well, so the fewer people that are around you, the easier it is to get away with some freedom. Yeah. When my folks invited me to the island, the, the small island they lived on in the, the early 90s, it was called mm -hmm. West Street. The population was 600. So when the cop left 
the main island to come to Westry, the guy on the radio would call ahead and say the law, the, you know, the lawman's on his way. <laughs> so everybody that was drunk driving would get told, hey, the cops come and park it. <laughs> well, there you go. But Seeing back in the day when I was a kid, you know, it was you got caught with something that you weren't supposed to have. They'd just take it from you, right. pour it out. But they had the Follow cop. your ass home. The cop came from another island to the island. So by ah. the time he got here on the ferry from the other island, everybody on the island had already been told he was coming, so they had to behave. Ah. Because I thought that was clear. Okay. Now, I, I wasn't sure if I translated. We're at the end of the show, well, you nasty. Yeah. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm running low on, I'm on fuel here. I understand and, that. Yeah. Well, you did. Sorry. You did good, and I'm I'm really glad you made it with me through the uh, in a perfect world. Because your your side of this coin isn't always like mine, so it's kind of fun to talk to you about it. Oh yeah. And maybe uh, Saturday, if you're around, we'll see. And if not, it'll just be me and my lonesome. But uh, oh, okay. Yes, dear. We'll do that. And uh, after I hang up here, I gotta. Go take care of an animal that's being a. Uh, or can you give me a? Can you talk for about a minute? Let me go get, take care of my cat. I'll be right back. We okay. got like five well, minutes left. Four. I noticed that. I noticed five minutes. Holy shit! What am I gonna do? I don't ever know how to talk for five minutes. <laughs> okay, over on Fakey Book. Seeing as how I'm just impromptu. Did you ever party all night and still go to work? I know I did. That was Bubs, by the way, for those of you that <clears throat> are not on Fakey Book. Uh, let's see. What else interesting is going on over on Fake Book? Not a whole hell of a lot. Let's go check out Twitter. You know, I ought to go to UPI just to really mess with Flash. I haven't been to UPI in a long time. And here he comes. I think I hear him. Damn it. But, you know, UPI was like UPI and Pig Gazette were... Oh, shit, and even right up top on UPI, they got Joe Biden chooses Camilla Harris. Cammy, It's got Cammy. Ah, isn't that sweet? No, no, it's not. Okay, who else, who else is still watching professional sports? That's what I want to know, because I haven't watched professional sports in, like, forever. Forever, and I could really give two shits less about professional sports anymore. But we love you. I know you do. <sighs> Dust says he's never partied all night. <laughs> no, sir, sir. I have done it, actually, duh. And uh. what it was, it was, uh, well, there were a couple other times as well. But the first time, they were having a dance-a-thon in my hometown out of the college. And I was trying to raise money for, um, oh, God, I don't even remember what charity I was trying. I think it was Salvation Army, which is one of the one of the decent uh charities to raise money for but they didn't get paid unless you did the dance thing for 24 hours let me tell you i was one tired puppy but i still had to go to work that night you know so i got home from doing the dance-a-thon thingy and i got about three hours of sleep and then i went to work for a six or seven hour shift and it's like holy crap and i'm not doing that stuff again uh -huh. so i know you're back flasher yes you are but, you're gonna do it again tomorrow uh well actually the next few days are going to be 24 hour call kind of stuff so hmm. oh Except, you're yeah, starting my, out with mom this this week yes okay. yes i am right. leaving in the morning right. to go down to my mother's okay. and uh, it will be my turn to basically keep her from doing anything too crazy okay and, and doing <laughs> yeah. this show doesn't inter doesn't interfere with your travel plans at all right this all works into uh, your schedule yeah because i've i've got to as soon as i get done here i got to start packing some stuff and getting a few other things Ooh. arranged and i need to blend some new oils for my mom because apparently last time i was down there i left a rollerball of oils for mom and my little sister sent me a text the other day and said, where's mom's oils? 
And I said, I don't know. I left a spare rollerball down there, and Brother Rick had one. Hmm. And she said, well, there isn't one here at the house. And I'm thinking, God dang it. So now I have to blend up new oils for Mom, which is okay. It's okay. Yes, It will help her. Help with her hip. Well, that so. brings us to the uh, knickerbocker end of this here perfect world po- program. By the way, yeah, just saying. Yeah, we are at the end. What? Well, because yeah, Cirque has to go to the city in the morning. The cat was giving her shit upstairs. So thank you for covering for me while I dealt with this cat problem. Good night, well, I everybody. Just, I just kind of blibber blabbered. Oh, hey, I know you one more thing. Hmm? Vaping increases COVID risk among teens, young adults. See? So if you're a vapor out there and you're a teen or a young adult, which you're not supposed to be able to vape anyway, but yeah. hey, you could get the COVID. Twice. I just had. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to say that. COVID. I'm done. COVID. Y'all have ass. an absolutely awesome rest of your day, and I will catch up with you again sometime Saturday. Thanks, everybody. So, <laughs> uh-huh. Love ya.